Yo. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> well, I, I'm in the clouds, and of course, the best rate I've seen. What? I'm trying to hit 4K, and now I'm white nine. Dizzy. Oh. Well, he <laughs> he only got. How come he only got uh plus nine on that? Oh, that's because he's so high in cups. I see. He's 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 over 200 cups higher than I am. Yeah, but I mean, how much of a difference does that make, though? Because I've I've gotten people, you know, higher than me, at least a hundred cups higher than me. They get like fifteen cups off of me. Um, I mean, when it's a hundred higher, I'll, yeah, it'll probably be that right that if they two star you. But um, to be be- like below him, like me being two hundred below him, he was worth forty five cups. Oh, is that right? Dang, were you showing? And that is, <laughs> and that is the best rate I've seen since the damn update. Oh, really? Did and you? If, <laughs> and if, of course it's him. Of course it's him. You know, that's just my luck. That's the luck I've been having with this game lately. <laughs> oh man. Well, hey, how 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 is it with the clouds? Like, I'm actually hitting clouds right now in the 37. That's when I noticed it in the 3700 range. That's when you're actually like in clouds. Uh, do yeah, you... but even then, it's it's in and out a lot, so chat's kind of annoying at that point. But like right now, there's I was counting earlier. I was going, I was going, you know, twenty minutes plus without seeing a single base. Is that right? Do you actually uh, do you end the search and then try again, or do you just let it keep searching? If it goes for a while, I'll you know I always do the whole you know check chat thing to see if I'm still connected in chat. Which hell today that didn't even matter because I got rated twice while I was chatting. So. Um, but yeah, I, I restarted a lot. I, I restart the app a lot just to refresh the, the server or whatever. I don't know if that helps, but it, you know, you get to the point where you're trying anything you can, you know, you're, you're languages, you're kissing babies, you're, you know, you're kissing the cross, you're doing anything you can just, just to find a raid, you know? Yeah. I, I see because that. 20 minutes goes by and it's a one cup base. That's it. Yeah, and that you're trying for everything you can because, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to get that 4, 4K or whatever, and the problem isn't winning raids or not. I mean, I still fail raids. I mean, we all have our bad days. But the problem is finding raids, you know? Yeah, I see what you mean. I, you know what? I'm, I'm starting to think that the best times that go on are, like, around 10 o'clock at night or so. That's when people have to go to bed. <laughs> you know, you know, and, and I, you know, I've, you know, I don't sleep a lot, and there's been times where I've gone two or three days straight just in the clouds or whatever, you know? Oh, and I never noticed... It's just a hit or miss, you know, and it's it's weird because I'll be like in the chat searching and like every time I I've, I've tried to get 4K, there's somebody else in the clan trying for 4K and they're just posting raids nonstop and I'm just sitting there in the clouds with you know thinking what the hell's going on. Oh yeah. Okay. So it's, it's anno- it's I mean, good for them but annoying for me because I'm like what the hell. Well, so hey, well last like, time last time I saw you in the clan, you were at like uh, 3,800. Now you're 39, so you must have been having some sort of good luck. It's just, I've been, well, I've had, yeah, I've had some, but like, um, a lot of it is just me going nonstop. I don't stay in shield for longer than 10 minutes. If oh. I get raided, I'm, I'm breaking shield in 10 minutes. Oh, wow. So, um, like I said, I really don't, I really don't sleep a lot anyway. And, <laughs> um, well, I mean, you've done, you've done pretty well so far. I mean, uh, when you came to the clan, you're showing off some three stars and that's pretty much what I wanted to hope. I, I was hoping to get into more discussion with the three star stuff because right. uh, I think a lot of people, including myself, like I've been trying to do three star battles. In fact, you know what? I've, 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 uh, created my team so that it would be fail safe, you know, so I would not mess up on my two star, but it seems some people <laughs> are going for those three stars. So, I mean, that's what I was hoping. Maybe you could give us some insight on how you're getting these three stars because, uh, you said you're using the go. We wipe. Correct. It's like a, you know, uh, go we wipe. yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's like, as what the best way for me to describe it is it's, it's like the best of both worlds as far as the go. We, we, and the go wipe, it's the best of both worlds, you know. And especially now with the heroes being as, you know, not you can't rely on them like you used to, you know. So I see a, a mean, Pekka yeah. here or there, the the two Pekka combo really, really, it really uh, uh, makes up for the difference that was lost as far as the, you know, the king, especially the king, you know. Because it used to be you can get the king in the core and then once he got out of the core, that's when he hit his ability, and he was just plowing through the whole base. Oh, yeah. That and that, that was how you got three stars before the update, yeah, you know? it was over when he got in the middle. <laughs> right, and especially if you were good at, if you were really good at, you know, being patient with his ability, a lot of people would, you know, 
used his ability, and he was plowing through, you know, the rage spell already. So he was wasting the rage, wasting his ability because you're doubling up, and that you know that doesn't have any effect. Yeah, so it doesn't stack. If you were really good at getting everything to the core with your rage spells, and then once the king busted out of the core, that was when you were hitting his rage, his ability, and he was just plowing through the rest of the base. You know, and then there's a golem with them, or there's a golem in front of the queen, and that's how you three-starred bases back then, you know? Yeah, well, how, so, do, you, how do you feel about the uh, the go wee-wee and the go wipe now? Because I, I felt like before the update, the go wee-wee was, at least in my opinion, it was the strongest uh, composition in the game. And then uh, I, I know some people were actually really good at go wipe, uh, but now I feel go wipe is a little stronger than go wee-wee. But, I mean, now that you're implementing two compositions together how do you feel that that stack up that stacks up with this update like well you know really like i said each of them have their their strengths like the good thing about like go wee wee is is that you don't really have you're not as concerned about the lure as you should be as far as with go wipe you have to take you know if you're if you're not going to be luring it's probably a safe bet to take uh you know some lightning spells with you whereas with go wee you know go wee wee it's not as big of a deal but you know safe bet whatever but with the one that i'm running with the mixed version you don't have to take lightning because you got the witches that are, you know, killing off heroes and killing off the the CC, which I lure anyway, because it's just that's one of the keys as far as I'm concerned to keeping units alive is because you see a lot of people get their, their units get eaten up in the, in, in the middle of the base because they're not luring, luring the CC troops, you know, yeah, the clan castle yeah. troops are just sitting in there and they're they're Another issue is that they pull pull your heroes or your P.E.K.K.A.s away from where you want them to go. Yeah, you know, and that's, so that's that's pretty interesting. Like, I've been trying to figure out the the steps on how to use the go wee wee or the go wee wipe. And right. I've tried, like, I, I took out the, the clan castle first. I took it to the corner. And then right. I used the golems next and then wall breakers and then uh, heroes and pekkas. So, I mean, is that is that how you're going about it? Or do you conserve some of your wall breakers to break down the walls before you use your jump spell? Well, um, well, the whole thing is that I'm, I'm trying to the whole the whole thing is I'm trying to preserve my jump spell actually because um, I try to carry enough wall breakers to get to the core and I try to save my jump spell to get everything out of the core. Is that right? Okay, you get you use it because to get out of the core. correct. One of the issues one of the issues you run into when you when you, when you see it if you watch watch a battle, pay attention. Once everything gets to the core, everything is firing on all those troops. So rather than you know. You can freeze once you get to the core. You can freeze around you or whatever and be safe to get the core. But after that, you're out of freezes. You're out of everything else. Your troops are just sitting there getting slaughtered. And especially now with the way the her- uh, the heroes, you know, they're not very good with walls at all now. Everybody knows that. That's, yeah, the, they can't that's especially. No, <laughs> that's, that's no big <laughs> secret, you know. I mean, he can't bust the grape, you know. So if you uh, are able to get everything to the core using just your wall breakers and save your jump spell, then they can just hightail it out of the core. If you drop a jump spell in the right spot, they can just hightail it out of the core, and they're just, rather than being slowed down by the wall, they're just plowing through still. Yeah, and you know what, though? It's, it's actually could, kind of interesting because when I went to uh, your clan in the dark and I saw some of the replays, I, it was surprising because some people were actually still using hog riders, and they actually three-starred with them. Uh, what, what do you think about the hog riders? Are they still viable? Are they still good? Oh. I, th- I think we're proving, and uh, you know, we're not the only clan that's doing it. That uh, we may be doing more of it than some clans, but it's still proven that certain bases are still definitely hoggable, especially by you know the more skilled hog riders. Um, oh, right. The update seems to have just kind of taken. It's made it more difficult, but it's made it so there's you know, the less skilled players aren't getting as lucky as they used to, you know. So, and that, it's just more skill involved now. Mm-hmm. Have you had any problems with uh, your hero AI? Because I, I mean, oh, I, all the time. Go ahead. I have it all the time. One of the things is, I don't know why, but you know, the the queen especially it just is weird about walls. I don't know what what it is with her and walls these days, but she's got a thing for them. And let me tell you, it, 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 it annoys me sometimes. You know. I think you know what it happens is, um, I I, I kind of figure out what it is is, uh, like if a hero comes out to get you and then it goes back. Right, the queen will follow him, and then it, it won't go past and try and get him through the wall. She'll go for the wall and try and get it. In. You know, <laughs> I can understand that part, but when it's at the end of the of the war, of the of the battle, and there's no heroes, there's no CC, there's nothing. She's just shooting at a wall. 
and then she busts the wall and then turns around and goes around to another wall. I mean, I've, I've had there's I have a few re- replays of that that I that I uh, actually saved where uh, um, the one time I had like three barbarians were chopping away at a wall. I mean, it was taking them forever because obvious three it's only three barbarians and it was an almost maxed wall. So uh, they're chopping away at this thing because they're trying to get at a, a building that was outside of the wall. Well, when the building got destroyed, they didn't even seem to care. They just kept going at the wall. Yeah, they don't they don't switch targets. Yeah. <laughs> right. So even though the targets destroyed that they were originally going after, they were, you know, so focused on this wall that once the once they destroyed the wall, they just turned around and went attack the other wall to get to another area, you know. So it's just and it's the same thing with a lot of I've noticed that especially now. I don't know, I don't really remember seeing too much of that before the update, but um Especially after the update, I don't know if I'm just paying more attention or whatnot, but mm-hmm. yeah, that's that's that. I kind of noticed the same thing. And I'm sure a lot of people are as well. But um, you know, what? it's it's uh, it's really interesting to see a new troop composition that's being implemented into the game, and hopefully we can adapt. I know I am. I'm trying to use that to go we wipe and trying to use that. I've almost gotten a few three stars, but they're on the lower end bases that are you know the weapons aren't fully well, upgraded. That's- that's good. Good bases to you know practice on and serve because a lot of it, it's it really it's it's spell timing the biggest things. I'm sorry. Could you say that again? The, get, the internet you know, kind of cut off. Can you say that again? Uh, the spell timing is one of the biggest things you're going to find that makes the difference between a two star and a three star. Is that okay? I see. Because a lot of people they get you know a little timid and they're trying to use the freeze way too soon. Well. Now your your units are getting you know on the tail end they're getting more ate up on you know on the tail end rather than you know they're refined coming in that you know that 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 reminds me of something uh when you freeze stuff are you going for uh teslas or just inferno towers because i feel the teslas are doing like the most damage on on your troops it really just depends on the base i mean you can't really say i see the tesla i'm going for the tesla but there's some there's some bases where you want that's another reason why i want to kind of hold off is because you know, you see the infernos and you're going up and you freeze them. Well, then once you get close, all of a sudden a Tesla pops up. Even though you froze the inferno, the Teslas are just going to rape your troops now. You know. Mm-hmm. And what? So uh, what? My last question is: What? What do you look for when you attack a base? Like, what do you look for in the design where you can just like just say to yourself, "Oh, this looks like a weak point right here for me to attack." Well, I mean, a lot of it plays into um, you know now, especially which side the queen is on. I'm not as worried about the king as much because he's just, you know, he doesn't do a lot. The queen can kind of, you know, especially if, you know, your your wizards and witches and everything getting close, she can just pop them off nonstop, you know. Yeah. So one, one of the things I look for is, um, especially if there's a multi, if there's a multi rather than a single, I'll try to go on that side so I take that out first. So then my wall breakers, my wiz, my witches, they aren't just getting demolished. The single inferno is not that big of a deal. Until my, you know, my my uh, high health units get in. Another thing I look at is just just the design of the base and see the way the angles flow. The trying to get your troops in so they just work themselves through the base is, you know, the easiest thing you can do rather than working against the base, work with the base, you know. And that's that's another thing is getting the troops through the base as easy as possible so they're not caught up and getting, you know, uh, more hits than they need to just because they're just flowing through the base. Yeah. So you said you attack where the queen is or where the king is because I've noticed like when I queen. deploy my golems, the queen kind of like just just tears up my golems whenever they get to that wall. You know, I'm trying to deploy my wizards and then wall breakers, and then she's already got the golem down halfway. And you're only using two golems, right? You're not using three. Right, I only use two. I've, I uh, I mean I used to do the the straight guiwi, which was the three golems, and I had a lot of success. But with that, you're relying too much on your heroes. Yeah, they, and usually... these days. I mean, there's been plenty of times where I want to throw my iPad because the second I deploy my king, he's dead. I mean, there's just, what? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you where, gotta watch him. Where'd he go? <laughs> so, um, I run the two golems, and I've actually gotten, you know, at first it was a little different because I'm so used to the, the to the spread with the three golems, and that was, you know, that was what I ran for a while there. So it, it definitely took a little bit of adjusting to get down with the two golems and be really proficient with it. And so now I can attack a base looking at two spots rather than looking at three spots. And the golems, they are, you know, again, they're still just meat shields. So I actually have more firepower now. It just has to be spread out a little different. I see. 
Hey, well, you know, I want to thank you for uh, coming on and just giving us some insight on how you three star. And, uh, you know, I, I saw a lot of good replays that your clan had, and I'm using those for the video as well. But uh, is there anything hey, else? That, you know, well, you know, I mean, we have a lot of just great players, and that's one of the things that has helped me a lot is being in this clan and, uh, you know, them telling me, you know, especially when I was getting going and everything, was them helping me out and, you know, pointing at this and pointing at that and, Guys like KSA Thug, I mean, that guy is just a gooey machine, you know. I mean, <laughs> I've seen him three star bases. It's just, it's just oh, how the hell did he do that, you know? I mean, I, I just plan everything out and spread things just right and try to time everything just right. And he seems like he just rolls through it. So, watching guys like that, especially watching him with his free spells, I mean, like I said, that's what makes us us is that uh, we have so many people that are just great at what they do, you know? Yeah. Hey, well, you know, I want to thank you for coming on. Is there any shout-outs you want to do for your clan uh, before we go? Well, I just think, thanks to the whole clan for being there and helping me out all along the way and putting up with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of a, you know, I'm kind of, I'm always out there. You know, I'm trying to always make things interesting. I'm trying to always just keep things going. So, you know, there's some times where I'm sure they're annoyed by me. There's some times where they're, they're glad I'm there. So I just want to say thanks to, you know, putting up with me and, you know, get me where I am. All right. Hey, well, thank you for coming on, Juggernaut. Thanks for having me. All right, then. All right, you guys. This is Godson. I'll see you guys next time. Godson out.